this is an unboxing of package and I have a feeling this must be an eyepiece. Let me open it. Okay, I have it now here with me. And let's open. Okay, I'm trying to open it. It's well packed, well wrapped. So let me uh, completely unopen this wrapping. Uh, I mean, unwrap it. Oh, this is a back cell ad adapter for it, ATX, uh, mid ATX. That makes me able to use uh, two inch uh, uh, eyepieces on the ATX uh, telescopes. Let me see. And that's the original accessory made by the Mead. As you can see, Mead Instruments Corp, Irvine, USA, 27 Hubble. Assembled in Mexico. Okay. Oh, that's a beautiful ring. The inner part is for one point quarter, 1.25, and the outer part goes inside the eyepiece, which is a uh, two inch. Uh, impressive. Okay, that's the operating instruction. And uh, this makes practically uh, ATX into a uh, Schmidt Cassegrain telescope because it will, you can attach anything to this. You can attach a um, focal reducer, you can attach eyepieces, you can attach anything that you want. Two, two inch uh, diagonal, and of course, uh, with the bigger diagonal, you're, it will, you will have limitations where you point your. Uh, the tube of telescopes in near the zenith, for example, you cannot do it upright immediately. But this will be stuck. By the way, nice, nice touch. And this is by Rother Valley Optics. I asked for two, they gave me one. And they wrote me that we have only one at the moment. We, in a few year, days' time, we will receive another one. And uh, that is for uh, my two. Uh, AETX uh, mid ETX uh, telescope best image I've ever seen comes with these ones. I have two ETX 125 and one ETX 70. Okay, let's go and try it on the telescope. Okay, that is my mid ETX uh, premium edition with the metal cap PE as they call it and uh, beautiful shiny metal blue. And this is the back backstop that I'm talking back focuser so I'm on capping this is also the caps everything is metal so I'm just uh, unscrewing it and this is the focuser I'm putting it uh, I mean this is a backstop focus and as you can see easily fits into this and I will bring the eyepiece and I'll show you that it easily goes there. Okay, I have now attached the uh, back stop adapter. So inner ring is 1.25 inch and outer ring is 2 inch. And now I have a focal reducer, Celestron focal reducer, uh, 6.3 times it decreases the focal ratio and this is the focal reducer I'm going to take it out and show you okay this is the focal reducer I will open it okay this is a focal reducer directly goes on the back of that thread I will thread it I'll show you okay what I have now is a focal reducer on a camera backstop of a mid ATX125 and now it's like a Schmidt Cassegrain instead of being like a Maxotov. Maxotov very good planetary telescopes now it, I can use it both as a planetary telescope from this eyepiece position and as a Schmidt Cassegrain uh, short focal length with this one. Let me attach an eyepiece and eyepiece holder to this and diagonal. This is a butter, butter planetarium um, two inch uh, um, diagonal and let's see if we can attach it to this. Okay, I have attached now the uh, the mid uh, adapter, then the focal reducer Celestron one. And then with that I can attach now this uh, screen uh, 
diagonal uh, focuser, diagonal barrel uh, focuser. And then with that, the focuser goes in, the diagonal, sorry. And top of it is the, where the eyepiece comes. Now we have a ooh, beautiful setup. The only test is that just to see if you can focus. And hallelujah, we have the eyepiece also. So I'm waiting for the moon to come and just see if you can use this arrangement. Quite long it looks. And I wonder if it works. Because that's the way it is. There is a crater here called um, Asiruddin. That's the crater which I'm now zooming on it. Tiny one at the end of the three craters which are joined together is called Asiruddin after the Iranian astronomer. Yeah, that's a rhino gamma, the bright patch in the middle. It's a magnetic anomaly. It's interestingly symmetrical in most parts of it. But uh, there is a tail of it, like a handle of a pan, which goes upward, or a golf handle. Golf club handle. As you can see the cloud layer, thin cloud layer, passing over it makes it difficult to focus. The yeah, rhino now is on to the right. And that coffee bean feature that has no name and I believe it's volcanic in origin. Kind of um, fountain of lava in the passes there. And also some graben you can see in the middle of it. There is a hollow area that has two fault, parallel faults. The middle part of it has fallen and it's called graben. Interesting for a geological study and a structural geology. I try to focus on that feature that I'm the coffee bean feature I'm talking about. Yeah, that's what is now at the center.
This is the time of the lunar cycle that mostly people will miss because it's very early morning and there's half of it falls in daylight. And either people are sleeping yet or they are just uh, going to work. So practically they will miss. And only you can see it in such a day like today, which is a holiday. Oh, okay. And tulips dip. Mm -hmm. 